Rick James had some rock and roll energy. Sometimes we're very conscious of what other people think. And so a lot of the presentation in popular music back then, while it was excellent, there's a level of freedom that it didn't have. You and I. You and I is my favorite Rick James song, hands down. It's just such an incredible concept at a time when disco was big and funk was big. I mean, he he married disco and funk. That's a very difficult combination to pull off. And because of the freedom of his lyrics, telling people to go to hell, which was a revolutionary thing at the time, that combination really helped him to break through. From there, he went in so many different directions. A lot of people fall into a hit or two and just continue to make carbon copies of those same songs. But he just kept pushing. Rick said he met a woman from the Maasai tribe and loved her hair and asked her all about it. She had books and photographs and he said, hey, can you hook me up? And he said that, you know, the Beatles was an influence on him and their haircut when they first came out was revolutionary and very influential. And he thought to himself, what's my version of the Beatles haircut? You know, once Rick got braids, the entire band had to get braids, which was at the time very radical for African-Americans, even though there was black consciousness and all of these pro-black things going on, brothers weren't necessarily ready to wear braids. But it shows you that he had a level of consciousness and that he wanted to connect with his identity and he wanted to promote his identity, which is fantastic. You are the one Rick James didn't make it until he was 30 years old. And so he was doing everything from traveling the world to selling drugs. And it wasn't until he went back to Buffalo and connected with his upbringing and his, the experience he had as black man and black youth there, it wasn't until he did that that his music really connected. So ghetto life, people will tell you that's early hip hop. The way he was talking about his community and the things that went on and his point of view is very akin to hip hop. When I was a young So he just plugged into the streetlights in Buffalo, got that electricity and, you know, made something that was relevant to the people there and something that resonated to people like them all over the place. And that authenticity is what draws everyone to black music. The honesty, the purity and the sincerity, um, all of that was in that song, Get a Life.